Greetings everyone, my name is Stephanie Warden, and in this short video I'm going to demonstrate how you can find online Praxis practice material using Learning Express Library. First thing is first, we need to locate the Learning Express Library. To do this, click on our Databases A to Z tile. Now, locate the Learning Express Library. You can search for it in this box, or navigate to the L's and find it alphabetically. Click on the link to continue. You may see a pop-up asking you if you want to proceed. If you want to utilize the resources in this tool, you will need to click Continue. On the next page, type Praxis into the search bar and execute your search by hitting Enter on your keyboard or by clicking on the magnifying glass at the end of the search bar. You will see several pages of results. Limit your results to only practice tests by unchecking the eBooks box. To access any of the resources, you will need to create a free account if you do not already have one. To create one, click on the Register button and use your UW Superior email address. You will be prompted to create a password, but note that this password is separate from your UW Superior credentials, so it will not update when you have to update your logins for school. You will want to make note of the username and password you create if you are creating a new account. If you are following along in another browser, take a moment now to pause this video and create a new account if you need to. Once you are signed in, click on a link to see what options are available for a resource. Let's look at this practice test. As you can see, this practice test allows you to take the 120 question test in three modes. Simulation, which mimics time constraints you would find on a real exam. Practice, which will time you, but will not abruptly end the test should you go over time. And Learner, which allows you to see the answer to each question as you go. Once you have finished with the test, you can navigate back to your results by clicking on your browser's back button. If you have any questions about accessing this or any of our other resources, be sure to let us know. Use our Ask a Librarian link at the top of the homepage to connect to our librarians in a variety of ways.